with the lock levers disengaged, you may apply the orthosis to the patient's ankle. Line up the tension springs with the medial and lateral malleoli. Palpation may be required to properly position the tension springs. Align the proximal struts with the long bones of the calf, both medially and laterally. Position the ball of the foot on the midpoint of the foot cradle. Then secure the heel cradle straps to maintain proper foot position. To achieve the best fit, remove the foam pad from the contour cuff and gradually overlap, bend and shape it for a snug, comfortable fit. Then re-secure the foam pad. When the device is secure, Check for any neurological or vascular changes. The patient should not experience any numbness or tingling while wearing the orthosis. Depending on the patient's anatomy and condition, additional ankle adjustments may be required. Position the proximal strut so the contour cuff does not restrict knee motion. If you do need to adjust the strut adjustment, depress the leaf pin and lengthen or shorten the strut as needed. Note that extending the strut length beyond the last adjustment hole may cause the leaf pin to fall out of the strut. If this happens, reinsert the leaf pin into its housing and reconnect the two struts. You can adjust the position of the foot cradle to accommodate various foot lengths. The ball of the patient's foot should rest on the midpoint of the foot cradle. Depress the leaf pins on the distal struts to lengthen or shorten the foot cradle. The foam pads, foot cradle, and heel cradle must not impede ankle dorsiflexion movement. To avoid pressure on the skin, position the calf strap and buckle at or near the edge of the strut. In addition, attach the strap evenly. Secure the foot strap and position the ankle foam pad to minimize any neurovascular pressure on the dorsum of the foot.